Yo, what up everybody, it's your boy Mr. Ghana Baby and I'm back again with another video. This is a simple video. It's time for we young Africans to tell our own story. It's time for we young Africans to know our African story, our African culture and our African what? History. We are on our way to go find out yes. the African history. Yes. Yeah, you, you get what I mean? Yes. You get what I mean? Yes. What's your name? Me. You, what's your name? Me. Yeah, Mohammed. Mohammed. Yeah. My name is Maya. What is your name? Duru. Duru. Yes. Wow. In my country, you know, Dan Duru is an insult, man. <laughs> okay, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna meet a young African who is gonna educate us yeah. on yeah. Gambian culture and arts. I am Maya. Everybody say, I am Maya. 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 I am what am Maya. I am what am Maya. Hey, my brother. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. I am Maya. Yeah, welcome to the Gambia. Thank you so much. Yeah, welcome. You're the one who's going to take me around today. Of course. Wow. And welcome to Kachikali Crocodile Pool and Museum. Thank you so much. Yeah. And where is this place? Uh, this is the first entrance and where you have a different masquerade place. Wow. And this uh, type of masquerade is called uh, Nyomi Kankura. Okay. Uh, Nyomi is another place, part of uh, a place in the Gambia okay. where most of these masquerades are mostly found. Wow. And you can see the history of this uh, Nyomi Kankura. Okay. They can tell you that, you know, this is the Mandinka masquerade. Okay. Mandinka is a, a social tribe in the Gambia here mm -hmm. that, you know, are uh, believed to have this type of masquerade okay. called Nyomi Kankurang. Okay. And they said it is a tradition of Nyomi Kankurang. Kanuma normally seen out during social ceremonies, like when you have naming ceremonies or you have initiations. That's the time that this, is the, this type of masquerades appears in the other part of the country called wow. Nyomi. Wow. You understand? Wow. And here is the Jola masquerade. Jola masquerade also is another type of masquerade that is believed to have come from a Jola tribe. You know, in the Gambia here, I think we have uh, seven different type of uh, tribes, if I am not wrong. Okay. That you have Fula, you have uh, Jola, you have Mandinkas, you have uh, Serer, you have Manjagos, you have, uh, name them. Okay. You understand? So this is the Jola masquerade, and this is the a typical example of a Jola masquerade, okay? Wow. And they said it's a Jola max dancing out during a circumcision ceremony. Like wow. in the Gambia here, we have the tradition. Yeah. Normally, you know, when you are very young, they normally take you to the bush, according to the Jola history, wow. that they will initiate you, whereby, you know, they will show you, you know, the culture and the tradition sure. and the, the moralities of, you know, what needs to be. And here, this is called Fambondi. Fambondi in our local language, uh, meaning a masquerade that appears on his own okay. without you know, someone making you know, that masquerade so far. Okay. So when you say Fambondi is a Mandinka dialect mm -hmm. called a masquerade that always appears, you know, just as by itself, by itself oh, wow. that you can say that, okay, and normally, when you see uh, this, is it only uh, is the type of masquerade that you know the Gambians people normally fear with, because they will tell you that in the history it normally appears late night. Wow. You understand? And sometimes you can see the the noise or the sound of this masquerade called fambondi on top of your ceiling. Wow. That some will even believe that you know it flies. It flies. Yeah. And this is the kumpo. <clears throat> It's, it's another uh, system, uh, type of uh, masquerade that uh, is believed to have come from the Jola community. You understand? Yeah. And they will tell you that it's a Jola masquerade appears mostly during initiation ceremony, like you know, a newly boy, uh, young boys at the age of maybe seven, where are taken to the booth, initiated, and then you know this masquerade will mostly appears during those times. And you can see the, uh, the, 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 the ways in yeah. which it is, you know, yeah. you know, you know, prepared yeah, and, you know, designed. designed. And, you know, and there is a culture in the Gambia here. Okay. They call it foot and puff. Foot and puff. Foot and puff. And foot and puff is one of the best cultural, 
you know, so that, you know, one will not love to miss. You will swear you will see this muskrat with the long stick here. It will place it on the ground and start to rotate in, in, a, in a style way whereby, you know, you will adore and love it so much. So you can see that these are the different types of muskrat so far in the Gambia here. Yeah, this is the Nyomi Kankurang, you have the Kumpo in Jola community, you have Fambondi in the Mandinka community, and then so far. Yeah, this is called Jamba Kankura. Yeah, uh, right from the traditional uh, muskrat so far. Yeah. And then now we are now entering in some of the traditional instruments used by different traditional uh, you know, tribes, tribes in the Gambia. Okay. So here we started with, uh, we call it Simbing. Okay. In our local language, you know, wow. they said it's a seven string bow harp in you know, pentatonic uh, tuning one plane of string. It's, it's just trying to explain how you know, it is made. Okay. You can even see that like uh, it's a seven string and yeah. then uh, so far they will tell you that these are the most of the traditional instruments used by uh, different traditional in the Gambia here. Wow. And now you can see they are displaced Displays. so far. You can see the other... Uh, this is a xylophone, right? Yeah. Uh, it's called balafon. Balafon. In the Gambia, but you know, it's an African, African xylophone. xylophone. Yeah. Do, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ki, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Wow. Mostly it's used by the griots. Okay. Great singers. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow, this a beautiful act, man. Like, you know, we just have to appreciate what we have in here. This is dondon in Ghana. We call it dondon. Yeah, this is called tama. Tama. Tama in the Gambia here. You call it tama. Tama. Yeah. In it's a Mandinka word. Okay. And then in Wolof, it's another uh, tradition uh, ethnic group in the Gambia here. Yeah. They call it tama too. Tama. And in Fula, they call it tamaru. Tamara. Yeah, that wow. means you have three different kind of language for this. I feel, I feel like most African countries have so many things in common. Yeah. Because if you go to Ghana, we have this kind of drums and we call it like, um, how do you call it? Dondong. Dondong. Yeah, so that's what I'm actually learning traveling within African countries. That's why it's very important for us to know the African stories, you know. Wow, these are beautiful, man. I know it's some. Do you have a talking drum? This is a talking drum, eh? Yeah. Wow. They call it Bukara. Bukara. Bu. It is uh, uh, three different plays, uh, three different kind of drums that I, that is used by only sing one single person. Wow. That you can see even see in the picture. Sometimes yeah. it might be more than three. Wow. Whereby one person will be displaying these four different types of drums. Amazing. But it's mostly used by you know, the Jolas. The Jolas. It's an ethnic group in the Gambia here that normally use this type of drum. Amazing. Yeah. This one is called tabala or tabulo. It is a Mandinka word. Tabulo means this. Wow. It's a traditional drum too. Wow. You can see in the picture here. Yeah. Uh, normally in our mosque. This is a horn, eh? It's a horn, yeah. Wow. A wind instrument. Yeah. It's amazing. Wow. This is also an instrument? Yeah. Bumbolo. Bumbolo. It's here. Oh, this is used for the wrestling, eh? Yeah. They said yeah. it, it's a jolla drum that is carved out of, the wood, out of wood and used to entertain in wrestling and circumcision ceremonies. Yeah. Man, I got a lot to learn, man. Wow. And it is used with two sticks. Two sticks. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. So, all I can tell you is that it's time for us to know that this forms part of our African culture. So it's time for you to learn something every single day. My brother, come, 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 come. Tell them your name and um, tell them your name. They don't even know your name. Yeah, uh, hello viewers. My name is Nyani Gamanya. And I am here to be with my colleague yeah. in helping him so e far. Exactly. Know, you know, the culture and the tradition of the Gambia. I've been following him so far, not today. So that's why I find it deemed necessary to help him so far in knowing the culture and the tradition of this country. Exactly. So I am so pleased meeting you, Maya. And I am telling you a big thank you so far. Uh, 
I think we have a fruitful day so far. Uh, yeah, like for real, I didn't know so many things and I'm glad that you educated me and I believe that you've educated a lot of people out there. So I just also want to say thank you so much. He's a historian and uh, make sure I'm going to put his Instagram. Make sure you go follow him. Tell him that what Amaya told me to follow you. Ayo Maya. Peace out. <laughs> That's awesome, bro.